Welcome back to Ecom Ranks. In this video, I will guide you how are you able to customize craft Shopify theme. It's a nice theme for home and garden niche. Uh, let me show you a demo website of it. Okay, so it has a very uh, nice header and then it has various collections and there are other video sections and this is the columns that uh, will elaborate your product it's a nice home niche website if you have a home niche i would suggest to use this theme so move to our website and start customizing it so first of all uh, be sure that your products have been added i have already added product it's a one product store so i've added uh, my one product uh, the second thing is that your navigation should be ready and my navigation is ready in the main menu uh, it will go at the header at top uh, similar to this one and then uh, there would be two footer uh, sections so that will contain the menus this one and there would be another that i will add at here just like this one okay so uh, let's move to the theme and start customizing it so first of all what we have to do is we have to add a craft theme so you have to click on this uh, button and then from here you have to select this craft theme and click on add to theme library a fresh copy of craft theme uh, will get installed within few seconds okay. so now we have to click on this customize button and after clicking on it a uh, customize theme customize window has been opened so the first section we are going to customize is the announcement bar uh, for it this you have to click on this arrow icon and then you have to edit it and let me remove it and add an offer over here So I have added an attractive offer uh, at my announcement bar and uh, the second section we are going to add is called the header section. Okay. So it's asking for the logo. I have already uploaded my logo. So simply select it and from here we are able to increase the logo width. So let's set it to max and from here we are able to change the logo position position um, the best position is top center so just select that option and from here you are able to assign the menu okay there are three menus that i have uh, already created so the main menu i want to assign it to the header so i have selected it okay so from here you have to select the drop down and if you want to show a separator line a line would get shown just below the header and if you want to make your header sticky just tick this option so that when you scroll down uh, uh, the header will get uh, the header will move downwards okay so here you see the header is moving uh, along with uh, the scroll bar okay so just disable it i don't want this option because it covers 25 percent of my website area which is not good okay after uh, making these changes just hit the save button okay so now the third section we are going to customize is that this rich text okay so click on it and from here you are able to select or change the colors and here you are able to add any heading let me add this one okay our guarantee and from here you are able to add the description of your brand so let me copy it i have already written it and paste it over here okay so the third section we are going to customize is called uh, the collage collection i don't have any in collections so if you have uh, more collections like uh, you sell multiple items uh, for example t-shirts 
and then the caps you can assign a collection over here one by one so i don't need this section so i simply click on it and hit remove section button okay so i've re removed it and here this is another collection section i also don't need it so i can remove it from this section but if you want to add it you can add uh, heading over here like our collections and from here you can uh, change the images uh, window size okay so uh, and when i move downward it will uh, it will ask that the number of columns that you want to show on desktop if you select uh, four it will it will show four collections right now there are three collections added when i click on it a fourth collection has also been added so how to assign a collection simply click on it and then you have to select your collection okay so this is a very useful section uh, according to my niche i don't need it so simply remove this section okay i have removed this section so okay now the third section for fifth section that i would like to customize is the video section okay here we can promote our brand video okay and uh, you can add any heading and here you can add the cover image so let me add this cover image and here you are able to uh, go add the youtube video link you can uh, you firstly you have to upload your video to the youtube and then copy that link and then paste it over here okay it would start getting uh, played when some your some of your customer hit that play button the other section uh, that uh, we are going to customize is rich text i have already explained it so we don't need it so let, let's remove that section moving forward this is another collage section uh, uh, keep in mind that we have we are able to add uh, images or collections to this collage sign let me remove it and uh, if you want to add it we have an option to add image add product add collection or add a youtube video uh to this collage section so there are three sections first one is collection the second one you can assign any image and the third one you can assign a youtube video link i don't need it so simply select it and remove this section and uh moving uh, below there will be a section called multi-column uh, you are able to add uh, different columns okay so uh, from here you are able to add columns okay so uh, when i click on it you can add an image okay so let me select this one of oh, this is quite a big image you can uh, you have to resize that image and then upload it similarly you uh, uh, let me show you this example this uh, a beautiful head and this tag and a flower and this uh, uh, cutlery uh, icons have been added so you can uh, download these icons from this website and then upload that icons uh, over your website and then assign that image over here if you don't want to uh, add an Im image you can simply uh, skip it and just add and just add the information just like this one let me show you one example so that you will get a better idea okay so it's getting shown over here okay so uh, when i click on multi column it will ask for the heading size from here you are able to change the heading size you can add heading over here and it will ask the image width you can uh, decrease the image width from here okay and so these are the customization option that you are able to do it right now i don't need it so simply remove these sections and from here you are able to add the blog post from our from the blogs 
here you are able to edit it let me edit it from our blog okay where uh, this is my blog so let me select this one okay from here you are able to select number of blog posts to show i only want to show two blog two of my blog posts and number of columns uh, on desktop i only have one blog post right now so i have only added one col one column from here if you want to show the featured image you have to tick this option otherwise untick it and from here you are able to show the author show the date enable view all button if you have two or more two or more blog post so move back and the next section that we are going to explain is called the email sign up section i want to change its color to sn2 and uh, the colors option you can you have to click on the theme settings and then move to the colors okay from here you are able to assign uh, a sent one color a sent two color and similarly the button colors okay so i have already assigned those colors and using it you can use it according to your brand and logo logo color okay so the final section we are going to explain is called the footer section for this you have to click on it and from here we have already added one menu and we want to add one more menu you have to click on add block and then the menu button simply click on it and then you have to click the change menu button select the customer support and here we have to change its heading to the customer support so our two of the menu have been added and here you can add any uh, uh, information regarding your brand so let me add any of my information okay for now let's add it you can add it according to your brand okay for this after clicking uh, after customizing all of this section hit the save button the one more section that I would like to explain you is called the slideshow you if, if you want to add any section you have to click on this add section button and click on show more there would be an option for slideshow okay from here the slideshow have been added and from here you have to click on it and drag it to the top okay so at top we have a slideshow and then below we have all of these sections okay so let's customize this slideshow section so the first image that i would like to add uh, would be this one and from here you are able to change uh, the heading and from here you are able to uh, add change this subheading and add this button label and then you can link the button label over here okay so this is quite simple step you can do it yourself if you don't want to show this container you can simply untick this option so the container has been removed so it's a quite easy options uh, you can do it yourself so let's move forward to the product page so this is our product page okay from here you are able to move anything up and down so like this one dos products you can move it down okay so it's move so it gets moved down okay so similarly you are able to move all of these things from here i don't have this section so let me remove these options simply click on material and remove that block So I have removed all those blocks. Okay. So if you have those sections, you can simply uh, click on it and then you have to assign a page to it. Okay. Then when you click, then when your customers click on it, uh, uh, information, care information will get shown. Okay. So right now I am deleting it. I don't need it. 
moving downward there would be an option for uh, image with text option you can add uh, your uh, product image and its detail over here with a shop now button or anything and from here you are able to delete that thing okay uh, this uh, the product page have been customized if you have any other pages you can uh, uh, customize it simply click on the pages and then the default page so it's a nice page if you want to add us any section to it simply click on this add section and from here you can add anything like i want to add featured product to buy and contact us page simply uh, i have added a featured product to it click on it and then assign any product okay so let me assign it so it's our our story page or you can say about us page and when i move uh, downwards it shows uh, the featured products so it's a nice feature provided by shopify in online 2.0 update so if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any question you can ask in the comment section or reach me out on skype thanks for watching